What if the way you experienced the world was fundamentally different from those around you? Imagine perceiving sights, sounds, and emotions in a way that's unique, sometimes overwhelming, yet incredibly insightful. This is the reality for millions of people living with autism, a complex neurological condition that affects how an individual interacts with their surroundings and other people. Autism, or autism spectrum disorder, is a term that represents an array of experiences and abilities, making it a puzzle of human nature that scientists and researchers tirelessly seek to understand. It's a spectrum that ranges from individuals who might require substantial support in their daily lives to those who lead completely independent lives, yet may experience the world in a profoundly different way. The question we'll explore today is, what causes autism? While we don't have all the answers, we're continually learning more about this fascinating condition. So let's delve into this journey of understanding together. Remember, autism isn't a disease, but a different way of experiencing the world. Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASD, is a neurodevelopmental condition that affects how people perceive and interact with the world. This is not a singular fixed condition, but a spectrum, a continuum of diverse experiences and abilities that vary from person to person. Think of it like a rainbow, where each color, each shade even, represents a different combination of traits and characteristics. On one end, you might find an individual who is non-verbal, has difficulty with social interactions, and may engage in repetitive behaviors. On the other end, you have someone who might be highly verbal with unique talents or abilities, but still struggles with social nuances like understanding sarcasm or maintaining eye contact. It's essential to remember that each person on this spectrum has a unique experience of the world. This is not a disease to be cured, but a different way of experiencing life. Now, what causes autism spectrum disorder? This is a question that scientists and researchers have been asking for decades, and the answer is complex. It's like trying to solve a jigsaw puzzle with thousands of pieces. We know that genetics play a significant role. Certain genetic mutations may predispose an individual to ASD, but it's not just about genes. Environmental factors such as the age of parents at conception, certain prenatal exposures, and birth complications may also contribute to the risk. Identifying ASD early can make a significant difference in a child's development. Early signs can often be detected before the age of two and may include delayed speech, lack of eye contact, repetitive behaviors, and difficulty with social interactions. Remember, these signs can vary widely, just like the spectrum itself. The journey to understanding autism is a complex one, filled with challenges and discoveries. But it's a journey worth taking, because understanding autism isn't just about identifying symptoms or finding causes, it's about acknowledging and appreciating the diverse ways in which humans experience the world. Understanding autism begins with recognizing it as a spectrum of experiences, each unique and valuable. Recognizing autism can be a challenge, as its symptoms and their intensity vary widely. But there are a few common signs that we can look out for. These include difficulties in social communication, repetitive behaviors, and sensory sensitivities. Let's talk about social communication first. It's important to remember that communication is not just about speaking or understanding language. It's about the ability to interpret and respond to verbal and nonverbal cues, such as facial expressions, tone of voice, and body language. Individuals with autism often struggle with these aspects of communication, they might have trouble making eye contact, or they could take things literally and not understand sarcasm or idioms. They might also struggle to express their feelings or understand the feelings of others. Next, let's discuss repetitive behaviors. These can range from simple actions like rocking back and forth to complex rituals. These behaviors may appear strange or pointless to others, but for individuals with autism, they can provide a sense of order and predictability. They might also have intense interests in specific topics or activities to the point where these interests dominate their thoughts and conversations. Sensory sensitivities are another common trait. People with autism often experience over or under sensitivity to sensory input. This could include light, sound, smell, touch, or taste. For example, they might be bothered by the hum of a refrigerator that most people wouldn't notice, or they could find certain textures or tastes intolerable. The signs and symptoms of autism can manifest at any age, but they usually become noticeable in early childhood. This is why early identification and intervention are so crucial. They can provide access to services and support that can help the individual develop skills and strategies to navigate the world around them. 
Autism can be a complex and challenging condition, but with knowledge, understanding, and support, individuals with autism can lead fulfilling and meaningful lives. Remember, early identification can open the door to services and support that can make a real difference. The autism spectrum is broad, encompassing a range of abilities and challenges. This spectrum is not a simple one-size-fits-all category. It includes a variety of conditions that manifest in unique ways in different individuals. Let's delve a little deeper. Picture the spectrum as an intricate mosaic where each tile represents a different type of autism. Some of these tiles might represent Asperger's syndrome, a condition characterized by difficulties with social interactions and nonverbal communication, often coupled with restricted and repetitive patterns of behavior and interests. People with Asperger's are often quite intelligent and may excel in fields requiring specialized knowledge or attention to detail. Another tile might symbolize pervasive developmental disorder not otherwise specified, or PDD NOAS. This is a sort of catch-all category for individuals who display some, but not all, of the characteristics of autism or Asperger's. They might struggle with social communication, for example, but not show the repetitive behaviors typically associated with autism. Yet another tile might represent autistic disorder, also known as classic autism. This form typically involves significant language delays, social communication challenges, and unusual behaviors and interests. But remember, these are just labels. What truly matters is understanding and appreciating the unique strengths and challenges of each individual on the spectrum. This is where the concept of neurodiversity comes in. Neurodiversity is a viewpoint that brain differences are just that differences, not deficits. It's a way of thinking that celebrates and respects the variety of human brains and minds, recognizing that diversity is not just the spice of life, but its very essence. So, as we journey through the mosaic of the autism spectrum, let's not forget that every tile, every individual, adds a vital piece to the larger picture. It's not about ranking severity or creating hierarchies of worth. It's about acknowledging and honoring the complexity and diversity of the human experience. The autism spectrum is not a linear scale of severity, but a rich tapestry of diverse experiences. The exact causes of autism remain a mystery, but research has provided some clues. Now we'll delve deeper into what we know so far about this complex condition. Firstly, it's important to understand that there's no single cause of autism. Rather, it's likely that multiple factors, both genetic and environmental, play a role. There's a consensus among scientists that genetic factors are the most significant contributors. These can include mutations in certain genes or combinations of genes that make an individual more susceptible to developing autism. However, genes alone don't tell the whole story. Environmental factors also seem to play a part, although their exact role is less understood. These could include conditions in the womb, such as the mother's health during pregnancy and external influences after birth like exposure to certain chemicals or infections. It's crucial to note that these are merely influences, not definite causes. Most importantly, they interact with each other in complex ways that we're still trying to understand. For instance, a genetic predisposition might make a person more vulnerable to certain environmental triggers, resulting in the development of autism. Now let's address some common misconceptions. Despite persistent myths, there's no evidence that vaccines cause autism. Multiple extensive studies have debunked this claim. Similarly, there's no truth to the idea that autism is caused by poor parenting or a lack of affection. Autism is a neurodevelopmental condition, not a result of upbringing. In truth, the causes of autism are still largely unknown. But every day, scientists are making new discoveries that bring us closer to understanding this intricate puzzle. It's a collective effort involving researchers, healthcare professionals, individuals with autism, and their families. While we don't have all the answers yet, we are constantly learning more about this complex condition. As we continue to explore the genetic and environmental factors, we hope to gain a more complete picture of what causes autism and how we can best support those affected by it. Autism is a complex puzzle, but every piece we discover brings us closer to understanding. As we've discussed, autism is a spectrum disorder. This means that it manifests in a variety of ways and affects individuals differently. Some may exhibit subtle symptoms, while others may have more pronounced challenges. We've also touched on the signs and symptoms of autism. These can range from difficulties with social interaction to specific repetitive behaviors. Remember, each person with autism is unique and will display their own combination of traits. 
Furthermore, we've explored the different types of autism, including Asperger's syndrome and pervasive developmental disorder. These variations remind us of the diversity within the autism community. We've also delved into potential causes of autism, acknowledging the interplay of genetic and environmental factors that could contribute to its occurrence. By understanding and embracing autism, we can create a more inclusive world for everyone.